Kiss you, Drew. Burn them, too. You was as good as dead. I like a shower in private. Private or public is the last shower you're gonna get. Why don't you stand the hell back? Well, what do you think I'm gonna do? Take off through the pipes or down the drain or something? You ain't cheating us safe. Not if I can help it. You're gonna die in a chair at 11 o'clock tonight, not one minute before. If I wanted to suicide myself in this dump, I would have had plenty of time in the last two years. <laughs> How about my ice cream? The, uh, you won't have the time. Well, heat it! Thanks. Shiggy. I'll put him in a bowl with somebody else. We're overcrowded. Well, so's this cell. What about my bridge? It took me three, four years to build it. You just have to learn a new trick. Oh, you can't teach an old dog. I've been alone for 12 years. I'm antisocial. I'm sick. I ought to be in bed with a nurse. Mr. Gunter? You put him in with me, I'll kill him. You think I won't? You lousy, miserable squirrel! my bridge. <laughs> I'm a walking razor blade, man. It's amazing what you can do with a piece of soap. Ain't it bad, man? If word gets out that I'm paying you tribute, I'm a patsy for every shakedown in the population. Sorry to do this one. After we cut this cake. Hey, smart looking cake. Tonight you write a letter to Warden. Tell him you want a job in a tag shop. That's where they make license plates. It's a good spot, and that's where I ain't left the work. You mean that's all I gotta do? Tell him? Uh, you gotta do a certain wage, huh? You just ever meet the warden? No. Ah, then you got a great place in store. Mm. Cake? Bean sandwich? I clipped him supper last night. Oh, no, thanks. Go on, a little nosh ain't gonna hurt you. No. You ever hold a legit job like this before? That's why he come to prison to hold a legit job. Like you, Stanley. So why don't you fix it up with a whole screw to get Johnny a little epic stove, a little coffee in his cell? Well, I don't know. It's highly against the rules. Ah, uh, you done it for us, Stanley. Come on. And I don't exactly trust that whole screw. For that kind of favor he'd want, well... How much money you got? Uh, he ain't got any money. But you, uh, I mean, the hall screw can take it out of his shop pay. You mean I get paid here? Three to nine cents an hour. Working four hours a day, you can make up to, um, fuck 80 a week.
Watch close, John. And now I'm gonna lean you to operate a press. You again! First you were at my fridge, now you jump me from hey. behind! You bumped into Iggy? Get going. Don't you have any colors? Colors he wants! <laughs> Already he wants special privileges. That kind of a talk makes me see red. You look heliotrope to me. Hey, you know what's a good color? Puce. What's puce? I don't know, but it sounds sexier than a focal point. Puce. 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 I could make us colors. What? How? If everybody would give me their old socks. I don't understand. That's because you're stupid. But uh, I'll gladly give you my old socks in exchange for, say, uh, a pint of puce. This guy is, but he's one hell of a painter. What? He's tremendously talented. Talented? I, I'd like to meet him. You use a stump for scumbling or your finger? What's scumbling? It's what you've done there. It's spreading, driving color or charcoal over a portion of the picture to uh, blend the tints or soften the hard lines. Well, what's a stump? Well, a stump is a roll of paper or soft leather shaped like a pencil for rubbing down the hard lines. It's a uh, scumbling. Oh, well, I use my thumb. Okay, more? Stumps, scumbles, thumbs? <laughs> Pictures. <laughs> 